Hi everyone, I'm José Díaz. I'm a musician and I've been developing and researching music improvisation for Southern Film for quite some time now. And I'm, I'm really happy that NQ Jazz invited me to curate this Field Night series. Music has always been present in film, even when we can't hear it. Um, we've all seen pictures from the early 20th century where a pianist or organist or orchestra would provide the screenings with live music sometimes improvised, sometimes scored and conducted frame by frame. But music was also present when films were being shot as a way to help the actors get into the right mood or the entire crew to understand a bit better each particular scene. And as I'm sure most artists who will perform uh, in this uh, film night series will tell you, improvising for film triggers an interesting dialogue between us musicians and the film, which works as a sort of a um, a visual score and we couldn't start with a better combination Buster Keaton's uh, comedy One Week directed exactly a hundred years ago in 1920 and the music by Adam Fairhall uh, who's well known for bl blending brilliantly uh, a very contemporary approach to, p to the piano with uh, elements from early jazz and the pre-jazz era I couldn't be more excited I hope you'll enjoy. I'll see you again next week for another film night. And until then, please stay safe. Hi, uh, thanks for watching. Um, the film you're about to see uh, is a real treat. It's a stone classic um, with some incredible um, sight gags and uh, physical business. Um, and the music you normally find with this film, if you bought it on DVD or video on demand, um, is it's normally um, either sourced music from the period, um, which they've just uh, laid over the top, or it's original composed music in um, the style of the period. And some of that music is really great. But I often find it has a bit of a distancing effect, at least for me, um, from um, kind of a, a, a it distances me from the comedy a little bit. Um, so although I do draw on um, American vernacular musics of, of that period, um, like uh, early jazz, stride, blues, um, um, folk, ragtime, um, I guess um, there's a contemporary perspective that I bring to it and um, I hope that there's an element of idiosyncrasy um, to what I'm doing which um, gives a kind of immediacy to the music. Hopefully also there's a, some kind of a sense of, of personality in the music. Um, I guess with uh, jazz is one of those musics that really allows the performer to develop a personality. So there might be a sense of, of dialogue between two personalities. On, on the one hand, Buster Keaton, the genius legend, and me on the other hand. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity for um, different styles, different approaches, a variety of moods um, and emotions in the film. Um, and uh, it really takes you on a journey. Um, so the range of... of um, types of music is actually um, surprisingly broad. Also, um, there's a lot of uh, rhythmic um, uh, visual um, stuff in, in the film, um, which it's, it was really fun to try to sync up with um, and Mickey Mouse, um, those um, visual rhythms. Uh, and that might be easier for an improviser to do than somebody who's um, playing a, a score and trying to time it exactly. Um, anyway, uh, yes, I, um, you know, I've, I've loved doing this project. Um, I've been thinking about it an awful lot, um, and uh, yeah, I, I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you.
Thank you.